welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel my name is Ayana and you want to go ahead press that subscribe button so you won't be late for the party and press that notification bell next to it so you will not miss NT videos from me all right so let's go ahead and get in today's video all right y'all so i'm very excited for today's video so i will be doing a wash and go today i finally got my hands on the wet line extreme styling gel i think this probably is a newer one i think the blue top are the new ones but uh, this is the wet line extreme gel so i'm very excited to try this out i have never tried it out before and, and everybody was raving and saying this was the holy grail so you know i had to try it out so i have that today so i will be trying it on a wash and go today right now i have deep conditioner in i just got done sitting under the hair dryer so i'm about to go rinse this out and then we're gonna go ahead and get to styling some things i'm gonna put in my hair before i actually put the gel in is the melanin hair care uh, multi use softening leave in conditioner? I'm going to be using that, or I might use well, I know I'm going to be using this, and then I might use the curl definer by the Talil YG, the green apple and aloe line. But I have to see if everything mixed well because I don't want no flakes. So let me stop rambling, I'll be right back after I rinse this deep conditioner out. So I just finished rinsing out the deep conditioner. I rained out most of the water because I don't like when my hair be dripping all on my face and stuff. So that's why I have a spray bottle to um, re-dampen my hair if I need to, to help with the products um, working correctly. So I'm just tying the extra hairs out of the way and I'm gonna take a plastic cap and just put it on the hair that's that I'm not working on. So the hair can still stay, you know, moisturized with water. Okay, so I decided I'm just going to use the um, Talil YG Green Apple and Aloe Curl Definer instead of the Melanin Hair Care um, Leave-In Conditioner because I just mixed it with the gel. And this is the Curl Definer. It's much more clearer than the Leave-In. So um, I'm going to go with the Curl Definer to be on the safe side. So I'm gonna take some water, damp in my hair. So the very, this is my second wash and go. So the very first time I did a wash and go, um, I did the shingle method. So this time I'm gonna just try like the smooth and raking method cause that shingle method took a long time y'all. So I'm just putting some of the curl definer on. And now I'm going to go in with the gel and make sure I put it at my roots real good. And then I'm going to try and like rake it through. Okay, so I just did that section. I'm going to go ahead, spray my hair with some water, put the curl definer on. Put some more water, gel on, Okay guys, so I just finished this half of my head. Everything looks good. I don't have those alligator, those silver alligator clips to clip this area. So I'm gonna just use my, um, you know, everyday clips. I got these off of Amazon. I gotta get me some alligator clips, y'all. Cause I do wanna wear my hair in the middle so my hair will be set. It'll have that indentation though. That's the one thing. That's why I gotta get some alligator clips. 
but everything looks good y'all yes good as mug and y'all this is a lot faster the smoothing and raking method Okay guys, so I only have one more section left. I would have been done, but my camera died, so I had to wait for it to charge. But so far, everything is looking good. So, she looking good. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish this last section on camera before my camera dies. Got my water. Drench my hair in water, and then I take some of the curl definer start at my ends and then I put some on my roots and then I put some more water and work the water in and then I'm gonna go in with the wet line gel put that on the ends first and then I'll take a little bit more and put some at my roots this method is a lot faster so if I do another wash and go I'll be using this method all right y'all so I'm done finished complete but um but yeah y'all this wash and go about to be on fire I got so many curls, little tiny curls. I'm hyped. I'm gonna probably sit under the hair dryer for about um, probably 30 minutes because I don't want it to be soaking wet when I go to bed. So this is my hair, and I don't have a diffuser, so we gonna have to make it work. But this is my hair. But everything looks good, y'all. I'm super excited. So I'll be back tomorrow um, to show you guys the results and to help stretch my hair out and all that good stuff. So I'll be back tomorrow and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys. So it's been about two days. So my hair is pretty much dry. It's still like damp in some areas where the roots are. So like right here. But um, I sat under the hair dryer for 35 minutes and then I had the blow dryer blowing at my roots yesterday. So that's that. Actually um, banded my hair with some scrunchies to help stretch it. Cause I'm gonna insert a clip on how my hair was looking um, throughout the whole process. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these down. I know next time if I do a wash and go, I need to get like a diffuser because I think that will help a lot more with the drying time. This is my hair after I took all the scrunchies out. I gotta shape it because it looks really weird. The curls are still there. I just know the third time when I do a wash and go, this is my second attempt. So the third time is definitely, I definitely will have it down pat. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and find a shape for my hair that will look good on me. And I'm gonna use the blow dryer to help, you know, shape it and my pick. So we're gonna see how this is gonna look.
so this is my hair I do like the shape the shape is there but um but yeah out of this wash and go I'll probably give it a seven a seven I'm almost there I'm almost there I'm still learning but um but yeah I do like the shape because I don't know the front of my head shrinks up so much and then the back really shrinks up like the back is like to the kitchen I just have to figure out a shape that actually works with my face and everything like that but I think this is good for right now but next time when I do do a wash and go I'm gonna try it again I do like this wet line gel so I'm gonna keep this and I did like um, using the curl definer because it does have my hair soft and that's the only thing that's that's the only thing I use in my hair to keep my hair moisturized so it does feel soft it doesn't feel dry I do need to be better with not being heavy-handed cuz got some flakes but it's not as bad as the first time when I did a wash and go because them flakes were big but um but yeah so this is my hair So, like I said, I know next time I'm going to have a diffuser for you guys. So, I will use the diffuser to help dry my hair at the roots. Um, so, I don't have too much manipulation going on. Because I do feel like I did lose a little bit of the curls when I was, like, pulling and trying to stretch and all that stuff. So, I will have a diffuser um, next time to help with that. But, other than that, I feel like most of the curls are still there. But, yeah, I don't think it's that bad for my second wash and go actually i think it's pretty decent but the third time is the charm so i'm gonna try it one more time and i'll have the right equipment and i won't be heavy handed but yeah this is the hair right heel so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to share sharing is caring so go ahead and do that don't forget you're beautiful you're strong you the best music and i will see you guys in my next one